Oh, hi. Back. Back in goal. Back at Nanny's. As you can see, allotments outside. Hey, it's a babe day in goal. Back in goal. Back at Nanny's. Oh, I've got to adapt to a life where I'm just too rough with taps. <laughs> Don't you go ramshacking my taps. Oh, she, I must say, she's gotten a lot better now with me. Criticise me for wearing a carpet down too much. It's, uh, <laughs> it's like, basically like backstage for Tenko living here sometimes. Luckily, Nana can't see these videos, because if she could, she'd go absolutely berserk. I'd be kicked out. But, hey, and some news. Oh, and I forgot to introduce who <laughs> I'm not being very professional today. Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of Surviving Lockdown. Yeah, so you might have seen, heard, probably not, but hey, BBC Radio Umberside found my uh, little web series, invited me on for a little chat, did the poem about Ghoul the, from my series, and hey, thought we back on. So hey, you better keep watching, you the first ones to watch. So today, we're going to be talking about panic attacks. Now, it's no laughing matter. Somehow, people... Still manage to find me amusing, even when I'm talking about things that actually I'm really upset about. And I've actually found that it's funny when you do that. So, you know what I mean? I don't normally give you a bit of a... But, you know, before I do, there's a lot goes into this. I've got to get the lights on. I've got to prepare myself. I've done, done voice exercises. You do things like this, you go... <laughs> See? I'm just sound instantly more professional. So, I've got a little animation for you. It's a poem called The Fake Grim Reaper. So what it's about is, well, we're having a really, really bad panic attack. Well, when I get them, it's just a full body pins and needles, heart pounding, you feel like you're gonna die, everything turns dark, the world comes in, your head throbbing, kind of feels like you're on Mars, completely on your own. You think, this is never gonna change, they're gonna put me away, well, I do, and it's terrifying. Anyway, so normally I'd sit in the bathroom and I'd run the taps. I don't know why. I like to just keep wetting myself. And then you sit down and then you just count, do the counting exercises. And basically I talk to what I call the fake Grim Reaper. Because it feels like you're going to die. And you're basically negotiating, asking, are you the real, you know, the real GR, the real Grim Reaper, or are you the fake one? Now, as you can tell, I've only met the fake one for now. Unless I'm a spectre. But the fake one is actually... Probably more terrifying than the real one. Because at least the real one, it ends. With the fake one, you've got to carry on. Anyway, so, hope you enjoy it. It's called The Fake Grim Reaper. The Fake Grim Reaper. Right in there. That's where it all is. Sound playing, your mind racing, and up now pacing to the kitchen pole. Hang here a while, face half plate along the metal. A one-eyed room take and cold pressed cheek. Kick dry tongue across dry roof. Turn to tap, pour water in glass, sip it. Kick wet tongue across dry roof. Turn off tap, stuff wet finger on jugular count pulse. Could be a heart attack. Boom, one, boom, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Lost it. Counting, making heart race. This isn't working. Losing count stroke. Go lie on sofa, feet tapping, sit up, hand on your face or face in your hands. Try bedroom, get in bed, rest on pillow, pull over duvet. Walls falling down, narrow, wide-eyed, visioned, resting place for the restless. Pull off duvet, get up, pace the hall, relentless and only just begun. Keep phone to hand, 999 on standby. This could be the one, the real Grim Reaper, curling in the freefall, fear bubbling up now. Ba-boom, ba-boom, throbbing head veins coming up slow. Brain dividing long ways, pulling away, feels like screaming, nobody to scream at. Splitting, brain cracking, coming apart it seems. Where am I? A film set on Mars? A film set on Mars? Thoughts scour the floor, feel my thoughts on the tiles. Body walking a film set, taking direction from the ground. 
Head's gone. Where's it gone? Falling feeling. Nine, nine, nine. Where's my phone? Check pocket. <laughs> Got it. Back to sofa. Up, down, up. Kitchen pole. Cold cheek. One eye view. Check pulse. Try your hot shower. Drain out brain tension. Back out already. Dripping. Head numb. Cold. Stand near radiator. Damp. Shivering teeth. Chattering. Muscle dancing, spasms, pins and needles pierced head, chatter, chatter, teeth jackhammered, uncontrollable teeth, clacking out chili wrapping sofa throw for warmth, stand in the middle of dead night, dim lit room, shivering teeth, shaking out the wet like a sad dog. Try sofa again, heartbeat fluttering chest, too fast to count, nine, nine, nine. Gotta hold out for the real Grim Reaper. Can the real Grim Reaper please stand up? Better sit down, back up. Head tight, chest tight, jaw tight, can't breathe. Breathing too fast, check pulse, need a piss. Can't piss, sit on seat, back up, lift lid, pissing buckets. Did I drink too much? Water poisoning, sit back down. Hand on baboon vein, head. Count the tiles, count back from 108. 92, 8. 78, 68, lost it, head screams, can't scream, check phone, gonna press 999, no, not again, hum song to self in dark bathroom, talk a bit, reason with the fake grim reaper, pull back from the sickle, back to bed, tapping feet, bit closer, but not enough, duvet over, off, Sit water, sofa up, down, up. Kitchen pole, cold cheek, one eye, check poles, check phone, sigh. Pray for the real Grim Reaper next time.